Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's see how to get help for your GlusterFS uh, commands. So, we saw how to install the GlusterFS components, we saw how to create a replicated volume, and then we looked at how to create a distributed volume and so on. And in this GlusterFS series, now we are going to look at the help commands that are available to us, okay? So, you start by doing gluster help and it's going to show you some of the sub commands that you can get helps from so we can use the peer command volume command snapshot or global for example you can have a look at gluster peer help what sort of commands are available for the peer sub command so gluster peer commands uh, it says peer detach so at the moment uh, if I do cluster peer probe we saw that command uh, in our second video during the uh, gluster fs component installation so gluster peer probe which is this command and name of the uh, the other storage node probe peer specified by the host name what we did was gluster peer probe um, gluster 2 so that's just probing the peer and connecting to the peer, making a connection with the other peer. So we saw that command and then we saw the peer status command, what the other peers are. And then we've got the pool list command. So that's the storage pool. And you can run this from any of the storage node. And it just says cluster pool list. It's just showing, to, it's just gonna show you what are all the storage nodes that are connected to this storage pool so you can see here we are running this command on gluster one machine so it says localhost and the other storage node is gluster two and the status of the uh, storage nodes so they are all connected so pool list is just a simple command to show you the list of storage nodes available in your cluster along with the state of the nodes um, we've got the peer help which we did just now and a peer detach so you can detach a peer so at the moment in our storage pool we've got cluster 1 and cluster 2 what we can do is cluster peer detach cluster 2 all clients mounted through the peer which is getting detached need to be remounted using one of the other active peers okay yes failed peer cluster 2 hosts one or more bricks so that's the problem because i've already got a volume that's using a brick in cluster 2 it's not going to let me delete that or detach that peer from this storage pool okay let's come back to this later and uh, before that we'll also look at other uh, help commands that are available cluster help we looked at the peer help so there is the volume help cluster volume help list of sub commands that we can use with gluster volume so we've got commands like volume info which we saw volume list to show the list of volumes that we've created and we also saw volume start volume stop volume status and so on and we've also got an option called add break and uh, reset break remove break so when we created a, a replicated volume uh, for this volume and we added two bricks brick one in cluster one and brick one in cluster two but if you've got other storage nodes let's say you've got like five storage nodes you can add or attach additional bricks to your volume all right so when we mounted this volume we wrote some data and then that got replicated in brick one here and brick one here and if you were to attach additional brick to this volume let's say you had add additional two bricks to this volume uh, then those bricks will become part of this volume so at that point the data will only be in these two bricks it won't be in the new bricks that you attach so for that you've got the rebalance option volume rebalance so that will rebalance if it's a distributed volume it will rebalance between the available bricks because you've added new bricks so similarly you can remove a brick and you've got uh, other commands volume create command which we saw volume delete command and so on so we've got list of commands here and there is this volume sync command if for some reason uh, one of the storage node goes out of sync if you see some data on one particular storage node but not on the other node 
uh, you can do a volume sync manually for example Gluster volume list so I've got volume 1 and I'm on Gluster 1 machine and I can do Gluster volume sync and I need to sync from Gluster 2 and name of the volume volume 1 so it says sync volume may make data inaccessible while the sync is in progress do you want to continue yes okay so volume sync is success okay let's delete the volume gluster volume stop volume one yes and I'm trying to show you the command to uh, detach appear gluster volume delete volume one okay that's deleted gluster peer help gluster peer detach and host name so the command that we were trying to do previously and because we had a volume and an associated brick in that gluster we were not able to detach that uh, peer detach that storage node from our storage pool so now we should be able to do it gluster peer detach gluster 2 so I'm on Gluster 1. I'm going to detach Gluster 2 from this storage pool. Yes, peer detach success. Now, now if I do Gluster peer status, number of peers is 0 and Gluster pool list. So now we can see our storage pool consists of just one node and you can add it back as usual. Gluster peer probe, Gluster 2 gluster peer list sorry gluster peer status gluster pool list so that's how you detach and attach um, additional storage nodes your storage pool okay gluster help so we saw the peer help we saw the volume help I don't know what bit rot is so we've got volume quota gluster volume quota help Gluster volume quota help. So we have a few uh, commands that you can use to enable quota for your volumes. Say for example, when you create a volume, you can apply, you can enable quota for that volume and say in that particular volume, you can't create more than 100 inodes or you can't create more than certain number of uh, files and so on. Set maximum size for the path or the volume name, limit usage, alert time and so on. So different ways to enable quota and we've got the snapshot and I haven't looked at snapshot and if I get a chance, I will look at snapshot and I will do a video on that as well. Gluster snapshot help. So snapshot activate, snapshot clone config. We can create a snapshot. I think once you create a snapshot, you need to activate a snapshot or I don't know, snapshot restore, snapshot status. We will look, we will look at it in a different video about uh, creating snapshots and what's the use cases are and so on. Okay, so basically you've got all these uh, cluster commands, sorry, cluster commands that you can uh, look for help. Okay, so if you want to look at uh, help for any particular command for example if you are trying to create a volume and if you want to look at uh, the specific command you can do cluster volume create help okay so that's the usage volume create name of the volume whether it's a stripe or a replica uh, number of replicas and then um, redundancy transport we didn't specify so it took uh, TCP as the default and the breaks and we also use the force option cool um i think that's all for this video please have a play around uh, look at all the help commands and understand what what the commands are doing and then give it a try if you've got any questions let me know i'll be happy to help and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye